Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcons RC and this is my IMAX 250 with a Mobius C lens on top of it. Uh, on this video I'm actually going to show you some aerial footage that I got chasing my buddies David Erpen. Uh, I want to get into the, into the whole, I guess, aerial video you can call, not so much photography but trying to get up on the air, you know, and chase somebody's airplane and get a good video of it, you know. So this is actually my first attempt on doing this. I actually built a Cinetank MK1 for this, but I decided, you know, I'm gonna try to do this first with something that it will be a little bit cheaper to fix <laughs> than a Cinetank. So anyway, here we are on the air now. I'm trying to get the feel of it, pretty much trying to chase a moving target, I guess you can say. Um, I'm actually flying on acro mode, which this is actually my first day to trying this. I've been doing FPV and all that stuff with my quad, but I've been doing it on, I guess you can call it 3D mode, where you can do all the flips and rolls, but if you let go of the stick, the thing will out of level. Uh, I noticed the flying on acro mode, the quad is actually a lot more docile. Uh, it pretty much stays where you put it at and I like that. I'm actually feel a little bit comfortable with it. I tried to do the acro mode before, but I was doing it on a tight space, I guess you can say, you know, flying through through obstacles, and it was very hard for me to do that. But now that I, I, I was trying this out for the first time at the field here on an open space, it was actually pretty easy. So I think I, if I just need a little bit more of practice with it, you know. And in this case, following this airplane on acro mode, it's just so much easier than trying to do it with auto balance or anything like that. So as you can see, I'm actually focusing so much on the airplane. Then you can see my attitude of flight changes sometimes, like I'm actually flying sideways and I'm not quite paying a lot of attention to that. So that kills a lot of my performance, you know, because two of the motors are trying to keep this thing level and that's draining my batteries a lot. But anyway, uh, this was actually a pretty good footage and at this point my battery is almost dead so I'm just running down to this side before it actually dies just to go around it normally I go around here a lot a lot lower than this but I don't want to crash because that is a very long walk of shame right there so I'm just gonna go back and land it and put a new battery in it and go back and try to get him on his landing you know <clears throat> but anyway I also apologize about the orange ring that you see on the on the screen but this is actually my first time to try in this protective case on my Mobius. So I didn't realize this until after the video. But, eh, no big deal. I'm actually already trimmed that off. Here, here I go again. And I'm going to try to get a little bit more close to him. And on this second fly, I'm actually a little bit more comfortable with it. So I think uh, I start getting a little bit more closer to it and actually a little bit too close and you'll see what I'm talking about at the end of the video but this, this is fun uh, I think with a little bit of practice I, I can get to a point where I can follow any airplane pretty much on a good I guess safe distance and get a very good footage out of it the idea to using the cine tank to do this is because of the gimbal you know um, it's a bigger platform you have a bigger payload so I can have a gimbal on it that can make this video a lot more smooth you know like here I'm trying to go sideways with him as you can see I got my my whole background and everything is sideways like I'm flying with the gimbal you know the, you will not see any of that so but anyhow it's, it's just a lot of fun trying to do this right now hopefully I'll, I'll get good enough there we can pretty soon start getting some pretty good videos out of this here we go this is what I actually really do want to do I want to practice this a lot going around the aircraft like that uh, now this as you can see I'm trying not to get too close to him because I'm actually I'm killing a lot of my performance by using the bull nose props I noticed the the bull nose props I mean they, they do they are very strong and they handle a lot of abuse but they do take a lot of the performance out of your aircraft so they are really not for racing, I guess you can say. 
and also I'm, I'm using a small 1300 milliamp lipo battery here so not so much flight time on it those were the only two I had charged so that's what I'm using here we go here is what I'm telling you that I got just a little bit too close to him <laughs> Yeah, I got it was pretty close right there. Pretty close. By the way, I don't know if you hear that on the background. It may get annoying. It's a little that right there. I'm actually making a part right now for for another one of my projects, and my computer is just close to it. So but anyway, here we go. Oops. Yeah, let's see that in slow motion now. It's not quite so slow motion, but that's the slowest I can get it on my program. And I guess because I'm actually recording at only 30 frames per second too. Okay, so this is where I hit it. In the wind tip. It's time to get a video, see if I can get it. Okay, my friends, so this was a lot of fun, and I'm definitely gonna keep practicing. Hopefully, I'll get better and better every flight. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try my regular props and probably a 2200 milliamp lipo to, so I can get a better flight time. So anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe, see you next fly. Well, that was a crash.